Okay, lab two, just getting started here. If we go back to our home menu, got a home button over here. That's going to take us back to our regular screen, okay, which is going to tell us range, delay, velocity information, that kind of stuff. All right, so we figured out from lab one how thick this block was. So we're using that thickness now. <clears throat> we're just using our regular old IW block like we had over here, or like we had in lab one. We've got this thickness right here, which is what we figured off UT, or sorry, we figured off lab one as four inches. What we're going to figure in lab two, or what is the depth, or is I should say, what's the depth to this little notch? Turn the notch towards you, you can see it a little bit. What's the depth to that notch and the depth to this step? And we're going to measure that from the top side here. So I'm going to move my transducer over the top of that notch and step and the four inch range all at the same time. So when I did that, it took me to a screen that looked like this. Okay, if I just go back to the four inch signal, there's my four inch signal coming right up at 100%. So then I come over here, <coughs> back to the notch and the step, and that's what we see right there. So if we get a little more goop, there we go, right there. Now we have our four inch signal, now we have a signal at 90%, and then we have a signal at about 85%. So we need to look at this right here. If we're looking at this transducer, looking at the transducer down, we see from the transducer down, the closest thing to the transducer is going to be this notch. Okay? Then the next thing is going to be this step, and then the next thing is going to be this four inch range. So we know already <coughs> that this signal over here going straight up past 100% is the four inch range. But what we don't know is from the transducer, if we considered our initial pulse over here, the top of the plate, bottom of the transducer, and traveled over, okay, we would be looking at what this signal is, then the next signal, then there's our four inch signal. Okay? So if we go down here and look, get a little bit closer, might be a little grainy for you, but if you're looking here, I can keep from knocking the camera, here's our four inch signal at 100%, okay, 100% screen width. So then we come over here, here's another one coming right up, and that's right at 90 percent screen width and we're measuring that from here's our 50 mark 60 70 80 90 okay so then we've got a signal here in the middle between 80 and 90 so here's 82 84 86 but that signal is breaking the baseline right at 85 percent so our equations that we're going to figure out, or our thicknesses, or how we're going to figure them out, if you have a little calculator handy, we are going to take 0.85, or 85%, times our screen range, which in this case our screen range is 4 inches. So 0.85 times 4, that's going to give you the depth to the notch, because it's closer to the transducer, like we said before. Then we're going to come back over, Look at this 90% and take 0.9 times 4, because there's our 4 inch screen range. And that's going to tell us the depth to this step. And then if we were just looking just to make sure we knew where we were, there's a 4 inch or 100% signal at 4 inches. 100% of 4 inches is 4. And that's the signal from this back wall here. Okay? So question 1, what's the depth to the notch? Question 2, what's the depth of the step next to the notch? So I'll give you a second to work those out. <clears throat> All right, next part of the lab, if you're still reading it there, says calibrate to a three inch screen range using any one inch calibration block. Okay, so we're going to go back over here to our one inch thick IIW block. Take our transducer off. I'm going to lay the IIW block on its side. We've already got a little goop there, but I'm going to put a little more. All right. Put the transducer on the one inch block right there. And now we should see our signals again at 25, 50, 75, and 100, which we do. But 
this one says calibrate to a three inch range. So we go to a three inch range, start bringing it down. <clears throat> now we should see signals at 33, 66, and 99. All right, so we're close. We're a little past 100. There's 62, 64, 66, so we're a little off. So let's take our delay and push these over. 33, 66, and 99. Okay, so 30, let's just make sure here's 10, 20, 30, 3, 66, 99. All right, and that's what we want to know. So there's our 1 inch block, there's our 3 inch block, there's our screen representation of our 3 inch range. So I take the transducer over here to the 3 inch block. There it is on the 3 inch block. Let's see if we can zoom out enough. <coughs> There's our signal, three inches at 100%. Okay, it should be right at 100%, which is what we want. I'm just doing a little adjustment here. Three inches right at 100%. That's where we want him. All right, so from there, we jump over here, and we want to measure the depth to this hole right here. We can do that just by sliding over the top of it. <clears throat> There's our screen representation of that. And our signal is coming up at 82%. So 82% of 3 inches is going to tell us that depth. Then if you look over here, there's another hole right here. So we slide over here right over the top of that hole and our signal comes up way way in the front at 10 20 32 percent of three inches so let's zoom in a little bit there so you can see that about 32 percent is where I'm reading okay, and I'm kind of ignoring this front right here because it's kind of trash off of the near field so I'm saying about 32 percent of three inches is going to tell me the depth to that hole right there where the transducer is over the top of. Okay? So give you a second to look at that. So it's going to be 0.32 times 3. That's going to tell you your depth. And the other one, I'll just move the transducer back, was 0.8283 or 83 percent of three inches. Okay, give you a second to look at those. And that is the first two labs.